many actors also play an instrument or play basketball, something else that they do creatively. They love cooking. Uh, I was never that fortunate. I was an actor who loved acting, and I didn't have hobbies. I had a calling, as you said, and that was all my spirit ever wanted. So I feel exceedingly fortunate that I have found a full-time job that pays me to use some of my skill set on a regular basis. I mean, that's that doesn't happen. That's insane. Um, on the other hand, 80% of my job is this, you know, funding credits production stuff that is same after, you know, week after week. And so I am often challenged with that pandemic or no, how do you stay creatively alive? Um, and one thing that a lot of artists do and a lot of non-artists do um, is The Artist's Way. Do you know this book by Julia Cameron? No. It's, it's a book about, it's a 12-step program for recovering creativity. Yeah. So it, it works you through 12 steps um, of recovering your sense of self, your identity. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of work. But there are these tasks at the end of the chapter that, that prompt you to think about who you are, what you want. Cre they make you do creative things. Write a letter to yourself at 80. Write a letter from yourself at 80 to you when you were eight. Um, and talk about, you know, what's important in your life. Um, and so it's sort of an, an inward journey of discovery of, of who I am. And the other component of this that's amazing is you're supposed to take your inner artist on dates, just you and your artist. And oh. you can do anything as long as it's frivolous and playful. So you can do finger painting. You can go for a walk with a camera and pretend you're a photographer. You can um, watch uh, your favorite movie from when you were 10. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You can paint your toenails a different color. It doesn't matter. As long as it's no silly rules. and frivolous. Right. And it sounds, it sounds to, you know, in this society, we have so much prized productivity. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for some people to sit down for an hour or two and do something frivolous because they equivalent equivalent is that a word <laughs> they equate frivolity with meaninglessness right. and instead when you sit down to do something intentionally frivolous you feed your creative self you feed your artist right. self right. so that has been my stump speech for the past four months while I've been doing this process that I think um I'm not a painter. I will never be a painter. But I got down on the floor with a roll of butcher paper and some finger paints, and I had the time of my life, and I made something that gives me joy. And I'm never, it's never going to be framed in a museum, but it gives me joy, and I made it, and it was fun to do. And that's, that's what we're here for, right? That's why we were put on the planet, was to figure out who we are and express ourselves. The existential questions. Who am I? Why am I here? And for artists... You know, you can read a novel, write a song, learn to play the guitar. That's not maybe acting or stage, you know, set design or, or whatever your primary field is, but you do have to keep nurturing your artist in some yeah. way. Yeah. And then, of course, a lot of artists have figured out ways around the pandemic problem. You know, there are Zoom plays and somebody's invented the software that symphonies can play together again. Somebody's, you know, jiggering the delays to line them all up and... Um, so people are being innovative and finding ways to to create their own art. Um, but definitely some days I wish I was just a potter, you know, and I, I didn't need anyone or anything else to do my art. I could just yeah. throw pots all day. <laughs>